Hey guys, so... Oh my god, what a war one. Uh, so what I We're wanted to discuss today now. is um, kind of like an addendum to what I had um, mentioned for the last is it, a video that I did about uh, optimizing for mouse lag. Again, once again, I haven't really maximized like frame rates and all that stuff for uh, the streaming. I just wanted to get it like basically a quick uh, part two to this video that I had originally made. Um, discussing mouse lag and all that stuff again um, what we have just to kind of as a, as a refresher um, control n control shift n sorry uh, will bring up your um, your display lag which is currently at 11 milliseconds it's a sim rate it's currently up there at the top um, and that's kind of what you're what we're looking for or what we're um, currently looking at uh, adjusting uh, when we're talking about the mouse lag and all that stuff uh, so that's what we're going to be concentrating on here for a second. Uh, but a quick, brief little aside. Uh, I did just have surgery on the, on the second uh, on my back. So I apologize that I didn't actually get to this video uh, beforehand. Unfortunately, I ended up um, in the hospital with uh, major spine surgery, um, back fusion, and the whole nine. So it was a lot of fun. Uh, but uh, I'm back finally, and I'm actually able to sit in the chair, so I figured this is a, the first point I could actually uh, talk about this stuff and discuss a little bit more. Some of the things that I've learned uh, from some of my uh, teammates, uh, both competitively and, and also just friends of mine that have uh, tried stuff out. So we're going to go back into options uh, this time. And again, uh, you'll see that I'm still at uh, you know, 1920, uh, 1080. Uh, some of the stuff has actually uh, changed a little bit in terms of the optimization and performance um, stuff. Uh, it's a little bit better, it seems like. Um, a little bit more stable. Uh, at least the mouse input is a little bit more, I would say, one-to-one. -one. Um, since uh, one of the last patches that, that, that came out, uh, it, might, it might vary based on your own uh, setup, obviously. So uh, you may want to try that out yourself. But um, one of the things that I did discover, again, through um, testing and talking with um, the competitive team, is that if we did take this down to um, a, a 12, um, 80, and 720 resolution, um, the render time, or at least the time, the sim time, uh, actually drops pretty, pretty substantially. Um, I'm not sure what it's going to do on the actual recording. I'm so you may see a stop here briefly while it um, does that. So this is going this is an experiment basically. So bear with me. So we're going to take this down to 720, and then we're also going to go down to the render scale. We're going to play around with this again, uh, because it seems like uh, render scale, out of all the options, um, along with the resolution size, uh, seems to make the biggest uh, difference along the V-Sync and, and triple buffering, um, that stuff, basically. And then all, on top of that, if you also factor in um, the other stuff, like model detail, uh, texture, resolution, all that stuff goes into um, the sim rate, um, but uh, some things obviously have bigger impacts than other, others, um, specifically the render scale, to buffering, v-sync, and all that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit the, hit apply here and see what happens. First right, yeah, yeah, that, that, that is. Um, all right, so I'm back in the game. So as you will note, this game looks like crap now, like utter poopy, uh, just terrible this and I know it's um, it is not a thing that you would want to look at for a long term um, if you looked at this on like a 1080p monitor or god forbid a 4k monitor you would probably think that this is uh, vomit inducing um, however if you do go and hit uh, control shift n uh, you'll see that I was able to actually get down the um, sim rate um, sim, uh, milliseconds down to 6 and, and, a, and a six almost at all times, maybe like a nine, when spinning ahead of a lot of bunch, but, but barely. And the peaks are definitely not there. But the thing that really becomes apparent um, when you do uh, change this option is how, um, uh, frankly, um, me. accurate, I guess, or one to one raw it, it is, it seems. You don't get that feeling that where your where your mouse is catching up with your your actual reticle on your screen. Um, I've got you in my sights. It's definitely I forgot. <laughs> Sorry for pressing that button. So um, it definitely feels like it's it's not something that you have to deal with. Uh, the, uh, the catch up is no longer a problem. Uh, frankly, I I feel like I'm a far better player uh, 
Only gets better with age. As far as like, you know, just uh, speed, reaction Double. speed, and all that stuff. Um, against the, even the screen bots, obviously. But uh, I've tried playing it in a multiplayer game, though. Um, and that's where the problems kind of I've come got in. You in my to play. That's just because once you get into a multiplayer game, people are actually moving around, not dealing with stationary objects. Um, so you may be at, let's say, this um, placement, and uh, it's kind of hard to see that, that, that that's his head, you know? Um, because you're you know, far away, the guys are moving around, and it's kind of hard to see like where the silhouette is. Um, you know, pixel density sometimes you know, helps at longer ranges. Um, so it's kind of a bigger question about whether or not you actually um, really, really want to sacrifice that. Um, it's something that you can try. Uh, obviously, it's, it's uh, something that I would recommend. Um, another um, friend of mine, uh, another uh, competitive uh, player that I play with that plays Sniper primarily, uh, swears also uh, by going all the way down <laughs> to uh, 10, 24, 7, 68, which, uh, if I were to show you, would be totally letterboxed because of my, my screen and wouldn't, wouldn't fit the screen. Um, but actually, let's let's just do that real quick uh, for the sake of, of uh, having it in here. Just kind of show you the difference in sim rate. Go ahead and apply this real quick. And there we go. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. Um, but if you go down to sim rate, I don't know if you can see it because it's kind of squished. Now we need to actually be over here somewhere. So yeah, now now it's down to seven. Again. Six, what, 6 .5 and 7 ish from what I can see there um, that's not something that I would necessarily uh, sacrifice for um, if you were going to go this route this is probably going to be the, your best bet in terms of resolution would be this 1280 by 720 also another um, thing that uh, people have uh, brought up or at least I've uh, discovered also um, has been the fact that if you were to uh, set your, um, you know, frames, your, your, your frames uh, rendered, your pre-rendered frames to like one, and setting your NVIDIA adaptive um, settings, and, and I'm actually editing that in the screen right now so that you guys can see that. Um, these are some of the standard set settings that will help on that. Um, again, these are, these are my settings. I've already been running these for, for quite some time, so the likelihood of these really affecting anything beyond the magical kind of uh, 6 to 10 millisecond uh, display sim rate is going to be uh, a hard thing to kind of get past. Uh, I honestly am not sure if you can even really get past that unless you have such a beefy machine that um, Overwatch really isn't taking much to calculate. Um, it also might be something that uh, Blizzard themselves have to kind of work on uh, going forward. But in just in terms of just mouse movement and, uh, and, and just uh, the way that it feels right now, with the way that um, you know I, this just feels currently, I I really do feel like I have a much greater control over my mouse. Um, before even even on my I said where I was talking about the, the mouse smoothness speed, and everything, um, even on those settings. Those settings still like I still felt like I had to kind of work my mouse to get to it. You know, like if you start moving the mouse and it actually starts moving, basically, uh, just by just barely, you know, just just barely enough to kind of notice. And for me, it wasn't that big of a deal, but it, it may be to some people, especially people who play snipers, especially the Twitch classes, stuff like that. Um, also for soldier, tracer, th those types of characters are going to want to maybe think about doing this uh, but, again, but again like I said uh, imagine looking and staring at this screen that you're currently seeing for you know hours upon hours or a day uh, there's certain sacrifices that you have to make and uh, figuring out which one you want to make is kind of like the key like whatever feels better for you um, you know if, if you think that you can handle this in the way that this looks um, then I definitely feel like it it helps enough to be a, an advantage uh, for you on the battlefield if uh, you play like a sniper or anything, any other Twitch based uh, class. So um, it's not going to help you if you're Reinhardt. I, I don't really think you know, Reinhardt's going to be helped. 
by any sort of uh, changes like that, personally. I, I don't think that uh, certain classes are really going to be uh, that big of a, of a deal um, on that end. But uh, but overall, I, it, it definitely seems like it's it's maybe worth trying. So if, you, if, if you're still experiencing healing. the same issues with the mouse movement and everything, uh, you might want to try that. Um, also, you may want to try um, adjusting DPI associated with your, your resolution, trying to get that up to 1-1. One, one. Um, I think I've discussed this before, uh, but if you go to options and you go into controls, uh, you'll notice that um, on all my heroes, on ev everybody, everybody has a 1 um, sensitivity, and that's because I actually go into the, and I've, I've probably, if I've taken time to edit this, <laughs> I probably have shown in, in my Logitech settings that I've, uh, I change all those settings. Um, to suit um, the needs of the, of the mouse DPI, so I'm constantly basically changing DPI on the fly. Um, depending on the, on the actual character themselves, you know, if it's a Twitch character, if it's a, if it's a Reinhardt that needs to be able to spin around very quickly, um, you know, all these things, like, to me, like, Soldier is like, you know, number two setting on my, on my, uh, my mouse, um, and, you know, Reinhardt's maybe like a four or five. Because he has to spin around constantly, and you know, a Widowmaker might be like a one or a two, depending on the kind of uh, map that it is. So it, it, it's going to come down to your own feeling on, on it. But definitely, there's something to be said about changing your render scale, um, doing that, and changing some of the options in your NVIDIA control panel. Again, I wish I could tell you that there are options available for people who are. Radeon or, or AMD users out there, that might be uh, something that maybe somebody else who, who has um, experience with those uh, cards might be able to, to help on. But unfortunately, I'm a, you know, a NVIDIA user, and this is like a four year plus year old PC, so at this point, you know, I'm not going to looking to upgrade any, any, anytime soon unless it's uh, going to be um, something mid-grade, basically, because of money situation, all that stuff. But, um, yeah, I just hope that helps uh, you guys out a little bit, and um, hopes that, that maybe, maybe clears up some of the things that um, you guys mentioned in the, in the uh, comments. And again, I really appreciate everybody's uh, comments and, and, and everything. I was able to, to, to answer some of them while I was in surgery, and well, not while I was in, like, actually in surgery, but the recovery. Um, you know, while I was in recovery, it was, it was uh, good to actually get some feedback, so... Thanks everybody for, for watching and uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.